most people are going to know you from the movie Unplanned, which Abby, gosh, thank you. What a story. What a beautiful story. But just in case people haven't seen it, some of our viewers, could you kind of give us a testimony? What's your story? Sure. So um, I worked at Planned Parenthood for eight years of my life. I was a clinic director. Of course, Planned Parenthood is um, our country's largest abortion provider. Uh, they provide abortions through six months of pregnancy in most states across this nation. Um, they perform a third of the abortions in the United States. And I was a clinic director for one of their facilities um, in the Houston affiliate, which is the third largest affiliate in the country. Um, I was there for eight years. I believe that I was there helping women, um, doing the right thing for women. I believe that I was there to keep abortion safe, legal, and rare. That's what we heard from everyone in the media. That's what president said. That's what, that's what the talking points were, right? And um, I was shocked when I was called one day into the actual procedure room to assist in an abortion procedure that was done via ultrasound. Ultrasounds are not typically used during the abortion procedures. Abortions are, are generally done um, in a blind sort of manner. Uh, the, the doctor takes a, a suction tube and, and blindly inserts it into a woman's uterus and just pokes around in her uterus until he thinks he has enough blood and tissue in a glass jar. But we had a visiting physician come in and um, he wanted to show us what happens inside of the uterus during an abortion procedure. And he needed my assistance so that I could hold the ultrasound probe on the woman's abdomen during the abortion procedure. And um, we did the ultrasound. We found that the baby was just over 13 weeks along. Uh, everything is fully formed in the womb by 12 weeks gestation. Um, arms, legs, fingers, toes, heart has been beating since 18 days after conception. Every internal organ that we sit here with today is fully formed on a baby at 12 weeks gestation. And this baby was over 13 weeks. And uh, I sat watching in horror as this 13-week-old baby fought and struggled for his life against the abortion instruments. And I knew then that there was humanity in the womb, that there was life in the womb. I knew that I had been lied to by Planned Parenthood, but I, I wasn't a victim. I mean, I had eagerly believed the lies. And, and because of that, in turn, I... I had lied to thousands of women who had come into those clinic doors. And I knew that if there was life, I knew that if there was humanity in the womb, that I was on the wrong side of this debate. And I ended up leaving Planned Parenthood. I left the abortion industry, knew I could never participate in abortion again. And I began speaking out. I began talking about abortion. I began exposing the abortion industry for what they are. But I also recognize that since abortion has become legal, since 1973, we have on record killed over 60 million babies by abortion in the United States. And while, of course, the unborn are the primary victims of abortion, I recognize that there are secondary victims of abortion, and those are the women and the men who have bought the lie of the abortion industry. And so really, while I, while, you know, my goal was to expose the abortion industry and to, to really do damage to Planned Parenthood, I had a secondary goal in mind, and that was to bring about healing to those who have been wounded by abortion. And so um, that has, has really um, become a, a part of my heart and, and something that I want to do because I, I realize that there are so many walking wounded among us, so many women and men who are carrying around that burden, um, and they're carrying it around in silence feeling like uh, they can't share, feeling like they can't shake this burden, this sin, and they are particularly in our churches. And, um, 
and so that's that's really become become my heart and um, and and really a part of my ministry. Thank you.